For the Morgan Cup, I joined Jatem, a J109. The crew were going out for their first offshore race of this season, so definitely a shakedown for everyone. But it'll be good preparation for the eventual target, the Fastnet, in 2013. Our main objective, we've gone well against the other J109, so we'd like to be the first uh, J109 uh, across, the, across the line tomorrow morning. So what's for breakfast, Simon? Porridge. Always porridge for breakfast. Followed by a scotch egg. There we go, instant breakfast. So here is the course on um, this antediluvian piece of uh, a, a GPS kit we have. Uh, and at the moment you can see we're going down the Solent. We'll pop out through the Needles Channel, over to St Albans, DZB Boy, back to um, Rock, uh, the first virtual waypoint, uh, Rock 1, uh, due south to Rock 2. This looks like a beat. This will definitely be a beat. Uh, up to Owers and then into Gill Kicker, Darling Boy to finish. This uh, back eddy here ends at about Egypt Point, and then we'll all start taking about an hour of tide on the nose. So the race is going to be to see who can stay, you know, tight. Uh, it is deep though for these asymmetricals. So, Simon, how's the trimmer doing? It's not doing such a bad job, at least it communicates. Well, I wish you stopped asking me to do this. The winch man's a wonderful man. <laughs> <laughs> He's keeping us fast. We sailed west, jiving down the Solent, through her starrows, and headed on for the DZB boy off the Dorset coast. I'm just putting in a clearing waypoint, a cable to the north east of our virtual waypoint, just to give us a bit of margin for error. Okay, that's my course. Let's set for it. Skirt, finish the skirt, please. Well, we just sailed all the way down to the uh, westward end of the course at DZB. So we had kites all the way down, now we're beating back up 22 miles up to our first virtual mark. Pizza's for lunch today, nice hot uh, pizza, cheese melting on it. And I reckon in some of the other boats they'll be squeezing tubes of um, mountaineering food into each other's mouths um, for uh, uh, some flasks of uh, by now lukewarm soup. But, uh, but um, nothing but the best for my crew. So the beat continued into a cold northeasterly wind towards the first virtual mark of course, a brand new rock innovation. I'm getting that brick oven uh, sensation and uh, I think that's what we really need on the J109. Entirely sure why we're here, <laughs> but it's quite fun really. Sailing through a kind of a gate here, guys, if Bob is advised. Everyone's a bit sheepish about this grounding. It's where it actually is. Still 200. Tuck out. Okay. We're around then. We're around. There we are. On, on the basis that my clearing mark here was a, a cable from the uh, waypoint we had to go round, we went round within half a cable. I think that's pretty damn good. Looking at this yacht in front of us, just rounded up, guys, under that cloud. Oh, right, yes, yeah. Right. I've always seen it as a bit of an adventure. It's just good fun getting out in the water, and uh, I like the endurance aspect of it. I like being in a boat that can run harder and quicker for uh, uh, longer than other boats. Um, and I think ultimately I like sailing. And now the crew take down the spinnaker in good time to prepare for rounding the second virtual mark. It's just there. Yep, it's virtually there with a virtual light on top. It's a mermaid. You can come you can start coming left now. Yep. Start hardening up. Okay, you're round, you can come hard on the wind. 
So have you enjoyed the supper? Yeah, I, I thought it was actually very nice. I don't think everyone else agreed, but... Uh, I thought it was quite a surprise. Well, we did think. We did think it was going to be lasagna. So when a pasta bake arrived, it was lasagna surprise. It was a delightful end to an Italian day, though, with pizza for lunch and pasta for supper. We had, yes. I raised some pizza for my home. And a nice spot of garlic bread, just to top it all off. We are now on our 39-mile beat from the second virtual waypoint up towards Owers. Aim to get there about half past three with any luck in the morning. And how's the mark Randy? Did you see it this time? Yeah. We virtually saw it. Well, yeah, that not sure it's, the same, it's not quite the same challenge as going around the proper mark, but uh, you know, maybe it's the future. Maybe the future's virtual. After a long, bitterly cold night into the 20 knot northeasterly, the grey dawn finally came. It, it was nippy, it was pretty chilly. Having rounded the Oers light, we turned on a northwesterly fetch towards the finish, passing between the two forts at the eastern end of the solar. Exciting race. It's a bit cold, um, but uh, I think in terms of the finish and our position, we accomplished a lot of what we wanted to do. We we did beat uh, uh, other Jays, which I think is important as a benchmark, and we know that they're well crewed, well sailed Jays. So I thought it was a really good result.